In today's show, Bitcoin smashes that major psychological hurdle of $30,000, almost touching $31,000 here this morning. As you can see right here on January 2nd, you see this massive green wick, which is looking so sexy. And as Willie Wu pointed out yesterday, if you're looking for an entry to hodl Bitcoin long term, don't nickel and dime an entry. You're not going to sweat a few thousand dollars a non-perfect entry when it's $100, $200, $300 thousand dollars in a year that's right because the main bull phase is here capital inflows have gone nuts also in today's show billionaire shamath p says he will buy the hamptons when bitcoin hits one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. he tweeted right here when bitcoin gets to 150k i will buy the hamptons and convert it to sleep away camps for kids work in farms and low cost housing and when asked what he would do when bitcoin hits four hundred thousand dollars per btc he responded to this dude on twitter and wrote Mars. And as they say, a picture says a thousand words. I'm sorry, Peter Schiff. It is what it is. You shouldn't bet against the king of all crypto. And as Max shares right here, what public intellectual will come out of the Bitcoin basher closet this week and make complete fools of themselves, pissing themselves with ignorance? That's the million dollar question. I guess we'll soon find out. Also in today's show, Michael Saylor says he bought two and a half billion in Bitcoin through MicroStrategy and other entities. And he now holds over 88,000 Bitcoin and never once sold a single Satoshi. I'll be giving you the highlight behind this exclusive interview where he goes on to share how are you going to feel if you sell it at 27,000 and then you wake up one morning and it goes to 82,000 when it goes to 167,000 when it goes to a million dollars when it goes to a million are you going to be bragging that you bought it at 0 0.019 million and you sold it at 0 0.022 million aren't you going to feel freaking stupid like i bought it at 0 0.019 million and i sold it at a 50 percent gain at 0 0.023 million and i lost a million touche i'll be giving you the highlights right here in today's show we'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market as you can see bitcoin new all-time high ether is in the green most of the major altcoins are in the red but where's the king of all crypto likely to go from here find out all this plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. So be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right. And turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And before I kick off today's show, if interested in purchasing Bitcoin, I highly recommend Swan Bitcoin. My affiliate link is right down below the video in the description, swanbitcoin.com forward slash crypto news alerts. Swan is the easiest and most affordable way to accumulate Bitcoin and start stacking those sats with automatic reoccurring purchases. Start your plan today and get $10 of free Bitcoin drop right into your account. So go ahead and do that right now. All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. Happy January 2nd, only the second day in the year, and Bitcoin just crossed another major psychological milestone, surpassing $30,000 here this morning. As soon as I woke up, I checked my block folio. We were at 30,500. Now we're already almost at 31,000. So yeah, check out this graph right here on your screen. You can see this massive green wick just continues climbing to the moon as Bitcoin wastes no time in 2021. Data from Cointelegraph Markets, Coin360, and trading view showed Bitcoin clinched 30,000 during trading on Friday after hitting a new all time high of 29,700 overnight. The pair showed no signs of weakness, retesting the level several times before a final breakout occurred. Now, the area immediately below 30,000 had proven a source of intense selling pressure throughout the past few days, a setup similar to which Bitcoin disrupted at $20,000 just weeks ago. That's right. I remind you, we were just at $20,000 literally a few weeks back. Now we're above 30,000 and the likelihood of ever breaking back below 20K is very improbable. As Willie Wu pointed out right here, if you're looking for an entry to hodl Bitcoin long term, don't nickel and dime an entry. You're not going to sweat a few thousand dollars a non-perfect entry when it's 100, 200, $300,000 in a year. The main bull phase is here. Capital inflows have gone nuts. And checking out some of the responses, Raul wrote, I sold at 23K for a lower entry. You think I should buy back in with the view of three years? Do you suggest? And Willie Wu responded, given the inflows, it will take a black swan event to bring it below your 23K. Don't sell in the main bull phase unless you are provably in the top 10 of traders trading short time frames. You'll need solid skills to make money on shorts in this phase of the market. I agree 100% with Willie Wu. You shouldn't be shorting Bitcoin whatsoever, especially during a 
Bitcoin bull market like we're experiencing right now. Now, what about the altcoins? Let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market. Bitcoin is up almost 4% for the day, trading above 30,600. Looks like we're likely to break $31,000 potentially by the end of the day. Hey, wouldn't surprise me whatsoever, especially waking up to a $900 pump for the king of all crypto. We have Ethereum finally broke out above $750, up 2% for the day, trading at 757 bucks. We have Chainlink in the red down 2%, trading below $12. Polkadot up about 4%, trading just above nine bucks. We have Miss Litecoin up 1.5%, trading at $130. And XRP down 3%, trading at 22.8 cents. Now let's break down our next story of the day, shall we? Billionaire Shamath P says he will buy the Hamptons when Bitcoin hits $150,000. That's right, venture capitalist Shamath P is mapping out his plans for when the price of Bitcoin reaches $150,000. Let me know in the comments below when you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to reach this price point of 150k do you feel it will happen before the end of the year i also like to point out that the stock the flow x model predicts a $100,000 bitcoin price by december of this year the founder and ceo of social capital who also serves as chairman of virgin galactic says he'll acquire the summer destination of choice for affluent new yorkers and transform it into a place that serves a greater good checking out his tweet right here on crypto twitter when bitcoin gets to 150k i will buy the hamptons and convert it to sleepaway camps for kids working farms and low cost housing. Willy Woo responded, well then, you have less than 12 months to go. Better start planning the logistics. Then we have the Moon Carl responded to Shamath writing, when Bitcoin reaches 150k, I'll start funding and building schools for children in areas where it's needed. The schools will teach kids about money, entrepreneurship, and all other essential things. And when asked what he'll do once Bitcoin hits 400,000 per BTC, the billionaire venture capitalist reveals his next focus area will be the red planet. That's right, checking out the tweet right here. Someone asked him, and when it hits 400k, you will then do, and he wrote, Mars. So there you have it. In a recent interview, the billionaire venture capitalist said he purchased 1 million Bitcoin in 2010 for about $80 per BTC. Shamath hasn't confirmed whether or not he still owns all of his Bitcoin, but as of writing, Bitcoin is currently priced above $30,600, making 1 million Bitcoin worth more than a staggering $29 billion. Could you imagine purchasing a million Bitcoin back in 2010? Holy moly, all I know is this, if he still holds 1 million BTC, by the time Bitcoin reaches $1 million per BTC, he will become amongst the world's first trillionaire, along with the Winklevoss twins who probably own more than a million BTC as well. Pretty wild, right? And in a 2017 CNBC interview, the billionaire venture capitalist disclosed that at some point, he and his two friends possess 5% of Bitcoin's entire float, meaning out of all the Bitcoin in circulation, him and his two friends own 5% of that entire supply. Talk about massive accumulation. Talk about stacking sats, right? And during the 2017 Bitcoin rally, Shamath predicted the price of Bitcoin would reach six-figure levels in less than half a decade and seven-figure levels in two decades. Let me know when you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to reach six figures as well as seven figures. My personal prediction is this year, without a shadow of a doubt, BTC crosses that six-figure price point. And I believe in 2025, the year proceeding, the next halving, which will take place in 2024, Bitcoin will surpass seven figures, making it $1 million plus per BTC. All right, now let's check out the latest tweets from Max Kaiser. He wrote this this morning. And as they say, a pitcher says a thousand words. This is the way, according to Max Kaiser. And if you've been listening to Peter Schiff, your portfolio is not looking too pretty right now. It is what it is. Max also goes on to share what public intellectual will come out of the Bitcoin basher closet this week and make complete fools of themselves pissing themselves with ignorance. Who's it gonna be? Let me know your thoughts in the comments right down below. And before I break down our next story of the day, Michael Saylor says he bought 2.5 billion in Bitcoin through MicroStrategy and other entities. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap. Holy moly, we're on the cusp of 800 billion right now with 168 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. Current Bitcoin dominance back on the climb at 71.2%. Now checking out the top gainers within the top 100. We have Block Stack up 9%, trading at 47 cents. We have Bitcoin up 4%, trading above 30,500. Ren BTC up 5%, trading above 31,200. Wrap Bitcoin up 6%, trading at 31,270. Made Safe Coin up 5%, trading 
trading at 34 cents and Celsius up 4% trading at $5.73. Now checking out the biggest losers within the top 100. We have Monero down a whopping 14% now trading at $140. That's right, Bitrex announced on Twitter just the other day that they were going to be delisting all the top privacy coins, including Monero, Dash, and Zcash. So that seems to be the next target for the SEC. We have Neem down about 5% trading at 21 cents. A BBC coin down 7% trading just below 23 cents. And Theta Fuel down 9% trading at 3.3 cents. All right, now let's break down our next story of the day, shall we? After launching an unprecedented public Bitcoin buying spree, MicroStrategy founder and CEO Michael Saylor is revealing just how much Bitcoin he's amassed. In a new interview on the Funky Crypto Podcast, Saylor says he has bought tens of thousands of Bitcoin through various organizations he is affiliated with. He goes on to share, I have bought either through MicroStrategy or through entities I control 88,000 Bitcoin. I never sold one Satoshi. I repeat, Michael Saylor has 88,000 Bitcoin and never once sold a single Satoshi. That's right. And at its current price at above $30,000, Saylor's Bitcoin stash is now worth well over two and a half billion. And in an interview, Saylor advocates for a long-term hodling strategy when asked whether Bitcoin investors should take some profits now as the crypto keeps hitting new record highs. He went on to share the following. I think the way you use Bitcoin is as a long-term savings account. So if you want to have a portion of your money that you like to gamble with and speculate with and bet on things you are passionate about, take that part of your money and invest it into new ventures or invest it into cool things. Take another portion of your money that you want to save for the next 20 or 30 years and put that in Bitcoin. Just leave it there and don't get caught up in all the back and forth. How are you going to feel if you sell at 27,000 and then you wake up one morning and it goes to 82,000? Hopefully that happens tomorrow. I'm just saying. When it goes to 167,000, when it goes to a million dollars, when it goes to a million, are you going to be bragging? that you bought in at 0.019 million and that you sold it at 0.022 million? Aren't you going to feel freaking stupid? Like I bought it at 0.019 million and I sold it at a 50% gain at 0.023 million and I lost a million dollars. Saylor also says he believes that the volatility experienced during Bitcoin's first decade is unlikely to be repeated going forward. He shares in this interview, in the first decade, Bitcoin was dominated by a bunch of traders with leverage and offshore exchanges and they were speculators. That was one group of people. This year after March, you've got insurance insurance companies, corporations, treasuries, institutional investors, they are buying this stuff instead of gold. They are buying it to hold it for a decade as an inflation hedge. They are not using leverage. They are not using offshore exchanges. They are not speculators. Their mindset is, I'm going to hold it for 10 years. What can I buy that's better? If I sell it, I'm going to generate a tax bill and I'm going to buy something inferior. So they're not going to sell it. And that means you are not going to see that kind of volatility. The volatility of Bitcoin is decreasing since March and the volatility of everything else is increasing. Bitcoin is moving from its first 10 years to its next 10 years, and it's much more a mature asset. There you have it. I couldn't agree more with Michael Saylor. Let me know your thoughts in the comments right down below. Holy moly, Bitcoin just surpassed $31,000. And before I do a quick recap of what I covered with you right here in today's show, first, I wanna remind you to smash that show more button right below the video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the market. This goes for all 640 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. I also have some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including the blog to my podcast, which could be found at cryptonewsyes.com. Also be sure to smash that subscribe button right below this video to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, including weekends just like this. You can also find me on all the major podcasts and platforms from Spotify, the home of the Joe Rogan experience to Apple's iTunes. You can also follow me on Twitter to receive daily crypto news alerts. My Twitter handle is crypto news. Yes. And for those of you active on Facebook, I do have a private crypto Facebook group entitled crypto alchemy to join it. Click this link, request to join. I'll be sure to plug you in. And for those of you active on Telegram as I am, I do have a private crypto Telegram chat, which is uncensored to join it. Click Click this link, request to join, you'll automatically be added. I'm looking forward to connecting with you on the inside. All right, now for a quick recap of what I covered with you right here on today's show. The Bitcoin price just hit $31,000 for the first time in BTC history. As Willie Wu pointed out, if you're looking for an entry to hodl Bitcoin long term, don't nickel and dime an entry. You're not going to sweat a few thousand dollars in non perfect entry when it's $100,000, $200,000, $300,000 per Bitcoin in a year. The main bull phase is here. Capital inflows have gone nuts. Touche. And as billionaire Shamath P says, he will buy the Hamptons when Bitcoin hits 150,000 and he will start investing into Mars when Bitcoin hits 400,000 per BTC. And as you can see, a picture says a thousand words. As Max Kaiser says, what public intellectual will come out of the Bitcoin basher closet this week and make complete fools of themselves, pissing themselves with 
ignorance. Also in today's show, I shared that Michael Saylor has bought 2.5 billion in Bitcoin through MicroStrategy and other entities, which is now worth much more as Bitcoin is currently surging. So where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go next? As you can see, we are above 31,000 per BTC, beautiful times. It's only the second of the year. We have a lot to look forward to in 2021. I appreciate you tuning in. Happy New Year's once again. Well, that's gonna conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto matrix. If you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button, that's right, and turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, including weekends just like this. And real quick before I go, if interested in purchasing Bitcoin, be sure to check out Swan Bitcoin. My affiliate link is swanbitcoin.com forward slash crypto news alerts, or you can just click the link right down below the video in the description. Swan is the easiest and most affordable way to accumulate BTC and start stacking those stats with automatic reoccurring purchases. Start your plan today and get $10 of free Bitcoin drop right into your account. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and do that right now. And I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.